We've got Craig, who's the CEO of Arira, one of the divisions of BID. Craig, can you just describe a little bit about what this machine does? Yeah, so it's the first one in the world uh, using robotics and automation. Feeding screens 11 inch to 70 inch, it doesn't matter whether they're old or new. And then the machine does a 3D scan of the TV to cut the liquid crystal and the paper sheets. It doesn't cut out the circuit board, so we can keep that all for premiums and maximum. Fantastic. So how, how many can you do a day from this one machine from this one robot? So this one machine will do 80 screens per hour, but it gets quicker, it has machine learning. So as soon as it does a Samsung ABC123, there's the dimensions next time it gets quicker. So we hope to hit 100 screens an hour. Fantastic. So all the bits that come off this screen, you've got all the plastic, the metal. Can you show me what happens to it? Yep, so we've got homes for all the material. Uh, the output of the machine, we've got liquid crystal, GPPS polystyrene, PET like your Coke bottle, all available for recycling. And then we get the whole TV that comes out. As you see, the two robots in the machine have cut out the liquid crystal, but it keeps the rest of the TV whole. So now we can get to the printed circuit board, aluminium, metal, other plastics, cable, all for reuse. Fantastic. And how does this compare to your traditional way of recycling TVs? So the rest of the industry shred TVs, so they have massive power consumption. So not just recycling now, but how much CO2 and carbon. We've got 10 kilowatts only on our robots. Big shredder like the competition, massive power consumption, and a shredded commingled mess of plastics and metals and circuit boards. We're all homogenous, single product screen. Got you. So can you show what happens after this screen comes out now? Can you show me what happens to, to well, that? The TVs come out, we're going to go to a workbench. So we're not quite manual, but the reason we're quite manual is to maximise the commercial value of the product. And, then, and you've set this place up recently? Yeah, we were uh, a field last year, and January, February, built the offices, equipment installed in May, staff started in June, and as you can see, we've already got, I would estimate now, about 8% market share of the UK market. Fantastic. Now, this looks quite traditional, traditional bashing and dismantling. Is this the only real manual labour that's in, involved? Yeah, so the manual labour here is really to get to the product street, so that we've got a really good clean product. Can you show me some of that work in close up? Yeah, for sure. Let's uh, have a look at it. Yeah, we've got the plastics coming up. We're down to liquid crystal. So this one uh, is complete because it's one of the newer LED TVs. So some TVs we don't actually process through the machines, uh, they're brand new. So plastics come off. So again, we can recover the plastics in house. The circuit boards we can look at reuse. We've got all the right to repair act right now, and OEM having to make parts for 10 years after a product becomes obsolete. So we the opportunity now to look at this. And if you have a look at these circuit boards, like on there, do they just get shredded alongside everything as, as anything else, or is there value in that circuit board? Yeah, there's value in the board, and we can have a look down at the back where the, uh, the plastics have come off and the circuit board. off the benches. Everything's pre-sorted into different grades of circuit boards. So as we were saying earlier with the circuit boards, now we could that'll go off to a smelter to recover the aluminium and gold. But our next stage is to look at recovering individual uh, circuits off. So it's a bit it's board. a bit like urban mining where yeah. you've instead of digging into the soil you're digging into old stuff. Absolutely it's already there so you don't have to go in the ground you've already got aluminium and gold uh, tin Palladium, silver, already there, so it's all recoverable. Exactly. Even the new LED TVs will recover the uh, LED strips. So even all the copper content will recover from the LED lighting strips that are in there. Exactly. Aluminium, different grades of uh, ferrous, that's all linked to the London Metal Exchange, that's a uh, index pricing different thicknesses of plastic, so these are all PMMA from monitors and TVs. Everything's graded to maximise the value and the reuse of the product. So world away from just shredding a, a box then? Yeah, you shred it, you 
already high energy and you just end up with a commingled mess. You shred food, you get a mixed carrot. You do the same with plastic, it's no different, it's all mixed.